been trying to type on your iPhone but the keyboard's not working. I'm going to show you a few different practical ways how to sort this out. So let's bring up Safari here and press in the search box and then no matter what you do, nothing works when you press the keyboard here at the bottom. So the first thing you want to try is actually turning off your iPhone and completely powering it down. Then turn it back on after a minute or so. This should give your iPhone a reboot. So once it's back on, you want to try the keyboard again. You can try it in Safari like we did before. If it's still not working, let's head over to the main setting page. And from the main settings, you want to come down and select general. And then you want to come to the bottom of the general page and select transfer or reset iPhone. Then you want to tap reset here at the bottom. Then you want to select reset keyboard dictionary. It'll ask for the password once you click this. So you want to enter your iPhone's password. As you can see the message at the bottom here, this will delete all custom words you have typed on the keyboard returning the keyboard dictionary to factory default. This is the best way to reset the entire English dictionary keyboard or whichever keyboard you are currently using. I won't completely reset mine at the moment. I'll come back out of this. But after you've done that and it's still not working, you want to head back to the general page and from the general page, you want to select keyboard. And the very first thing we'll look at is the top one here, keyboards. So we'll tap into this. So within the keyboard, you'll see the different type of keyboards that you currently have on your iPhone. And what you can do, you can select add a new keyboard here at the bottom. My suggestion is just to add a random keyboard. I'll add English US here. So once we've added that keyboard, we want to come back out to the main page and let's open back up Safari. So once you're in Safari, at the very bottom left here, this little globe sign, you want to click this little globe and on the space bar, you'll see the English change to English US. And then you want to try the keyboard and change back and forth and test to see if they then work. If it starts to work, then great. However, if it doesn't start to work, this could mean your screen has some sort of malfunction or some sort of issue with the touch screen. However, there is one last solution you could do. You could head over to the App Store and search out for a keyboard. Then you want to add any keyboard that is free in the App Store. And then you want to try this keyboard. And if it works, then it will not be your screen. Then if your keyboard still isn't working at this stage, it's highly likely your screen or the touch screen part of the screen is broken and you'll need to visit a local Apple store to get this fixed. Hope this sorts out any issues you've been having. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If it's helped you out, smash the like, smash the subscribe and thanks for watching.